Today, we're gonna to talk about lights, lasers, and switches. Stand by. For sport, for security, for life. Stag Arms. Hey everybody, Scott here with Stag Arms. Today I have with me Austin from Mod Light, and he's gonna go over a lot of cool features on all the lights and lasers and switches. So Austin, first, let's tell, uh, tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Hey guys, I'm Austin. I am the Customer Engagement Director for Mod Light, and I'm really excited to be out here, uh, kind of showing you guys a, a few different options on how to mount a light to a rifle. Right on. Well. Hey, you brought a lot of stuff with you today, a lot of really cool stuff, stuff uh, some stuff that I've never even seen before. Um, so kind of go over some of the, some of the uh, neat stuff that you have as far as your, your lights and, and switches that you can put on your AR. Yeah, absolutely. So just kind of taking it from the top, there, uh, there's a lot of weapon lights out there uh, as far as options you can get, but pretty much universally, all of them are gonna use what's called the Scout Mount Platform. Um, even lights like these that have an integral Picatinny mount, most of the time they'll come right off and, and you're gonna go right back to that uh, scout mount option. Now, mm -hmm. the biggest question we get at Mod Light is, can I just mount this direct to a gun? Mm -hmm. um, and there's a short answer and a long answer. Both of them end at no, uh, but there's a few good reasons for that. Um, so there, first of all, you know, looking at some of these different rails that we have around here, we have mm -hmm. quad rails and we have M-lock rails. First of all, there's different types of rails out there and they all kind of fit a different need for, for people. Mm -hmm. um, and some of them are, are transitioning away, but there's still a lot out there. And so to be able to support all of those, uh, we need to have a, a scout mount to kind of bridge the gap between the universal scout mount platform and the rail itself. Mm -hmm. so, so, so I see here, so there's, uh, there's two, uh, two uh, screw holes here. Right. And I know like a long time ago before they <laughs> had all these fancy mounts, uh, we would have our armor go ahead and fix this in there and then he would screw screw this on from the inside and then put the rail on. Right. Uh, so that's, a, you know, obviously that's not ideal. Right. And it takes a lot of time and effort. So what are, what are, what are some of the options here? Yeah, absolutely. So when it comes down to it, there's going to be, once you've settled on a mount to, to fit, whether you're a Picatinny, M-Lock, or Keymod, there's really three big options as far as uh, what types of mounts. So there's either going to be side scout, which is just going to come directly off the side of the rail itself. Um, that's great if you're trying to clear like a laser uh, for, for IR night vision use. Mm -hmm. You're going to have offset, which is actually what I prefer on my stag rails. What it does is it actually tucks the, uh, it tucks the light in really close to the light, mm -hmm. so that way it's not right off to the side. It's actually it's actually sucked in a little bit more, way more low profile. So it's not so it's not quite at a three o'clock or a nine o'clock. It's more somewhere like a one thirty or two o'clock. Right, and, and then the third option is going to be inline, which would be the most like what you were talking about, where if you just st uh, stuck some screws on the other side. Mm -hmm. That's what I have right here on this uh, this Stag M4 is an inline mount, so it just keeps it super low profile. Um, Mm -hmm. But it, uh, but again, it, you don't have to take the rail off to do that. Right, right. Okay, well that's pretty cool. So um, what I do like about these eyes is you're right. It's, it it mounts it as close to the rail as possible, which right. we're always trying to be streamlined and lightweight all yep. the time. Yep, exactly. Um, and so when you talk about streamlined and lightweight, I love this this the setup here, which. It actually has the mount and the pressure pad all in one piece. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, kind of transitioning from, this would be what your uh, a traditional scout mount would be. All it's gonna do is it's gonna mount the light to the mount and then the mount uh, will go right into the rail, um, which I can actually show you guys right here. Uh, and, then, and then you'd have to have an external switch. Right, right exactly. So just kind of going over how would, I, how would I put this up in a more traditional aspect before we transition over to the, uh, to the mod button here. So. Um, what you're gonna do is, we prefer the Arasaka Scout mounts for mm -hmm. a couple reasons. Number one, they're aluminum, they're super strong, really durable, mm -hmm. um, and they come with all the hardware you need. So you don't have to go to the hardware store to try and find the additional screws. Um, I know that's one thing we get asked about a lot is, hey, where are the screws for my light? Mm -hmm. Well, they come with the mount, um, so oh, you have to make sure. Yeah, that's good to know. Yeah, so you have to make sure that you, uh, you get the mount. So yeah, basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna, if you're using a more traditional Scout mount, like an Arasaka mount, you're just gonna get it set into place on the mount after kind of having decided what side you want it on. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this is M-Lock on this stag rail here. So let's get these up. Yeah, so that's what we would consider to be like a traditional setup. 
Okay. Um, something that, uh, you, you know, from years ago, people would be familiar with mm -hmm. just having the little, the little clicky cap on the rear. Um, so then we want to transition over and talk about the mod button. Now, mm -hmm. the mod button was uh, kind of an introductory product we, we came out with when we first started doing switches. We had been doing lights for, for about a year, um, and then we, we launched this. And so essentially the idea was, what if we took a, a pressure pad, a momentary pressure pad, and put an integral scout mount? And it's a great idea. Yeah, exactly. Um, and what is nice about it is it actually also costs about the same as, as doing a, a conventional scout mount um, with a uh, with a pressure pad. So mm -hmm. basically what it is, is just like I showed you guys with that scout mount, is you just mount the light directly to the pressure pad, and then you can just take this and you can throw this on top. So what you have then is, is essentially a complete package where you have your scout mount and your pressure pad all integrated into one system. And I, I think that is a, a, a great feature. It's uh, form and function. Uh, most people have a light. I say, I say today, if you're going to have an AR-15, uh, having a light, uh, really, and laser on your gun is the equivalent of having internet in your home or not. Right. I mean, everybody should have it. If you have an AR-15, especially if it's going to be used for home defense. Right. You can't shoot what you can't it see. It should have a light on it. Yeah. Um, and then if you're in law enforcement or military, it should have a laser. I mean, it's just the way it is. So, I mean, this right here is just a no-brainer. I yeah. love it. Yeah, so, absolutely. So, um, this this seems to be, uh, this 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 back piece here seems to be kind of a standard attachment that's on the Surefire. What is that called? Yeah, so these are uh, these are a couple of different products that work with integrating any light um, to, a, to a pressure pad. Mm -hmm. Is uh, Surefire came out with these, uh, this is the Surefire UE, and that's the Surefire DS00. Um, they both are going to accept the standardized plug from any pressure pad, um, and then they're going to mount right onto a light. And this isn't just for Surefire lights, this is for Mod Light, Arasaka. Um, they make an adapter if you want to use the stream light as well. So, um, yeah, this is kind of an industry standard. The only difference is that this one only accepts the, the pressure pad. Um, this one accepts the pressure pad and also has a, an integral clicky as well. So a nice. little bit of redundancy, or if you want a constant on option. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's nice to ha have a, a backup. Yeah. I mean, I've never had a Fitch, uh, or a switch fail me, but it's nice to have a backup. You exactly, yep, absolutely. Okay, so that that was really cool. Now, what's neat, um, I see here you have a couple of other options that you can add in addition to just like a switch. Um, like, for example, this this shroud here, it looks like you can just uh, add a shroud where it'll, it'll mount onto a Picatinny rail, but it gives you like a 45 degree angle. That's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. So, so let's talk about that. So this product was, uh, when we came out with it, was way hotter than we thought it was going to be. We thought it was going to be more of a niche item for like SBRs and PDWs. Mm -hmm. And what we found was happening a lot is guys loved the size of it and they were buying it, but they were still using a conventional scout mount. They just liked the size of the pressure pad. Mm -hmm. So we're like, okay, that's an easy fix. So what we came uh, with after Mod Button was Mod Button Light. So what that is, it's the same high quality pressure pad, uh, but it uses a, uh, a plastic mounting system instead of being metal and it ditches the, the integral scout mount because mm -hmm. um, that's no longer needed. So this is, a, this is gonna be a little bit more of a complicated setup. For, this is what you would see if someone was using like night vision. So for the longest time, if dudes wanted to use a, a laser and a light on their rifle, this is kind of what they were stuck with. They were stuck with a pressure pad that was pretty big. It took up a lot of space and you were stuck with the leads coming out the rear. You probably had to like duct tape or electrical tape them Absolutely. or something. Um, so, so we kind of flipped the script on that one. So they're separated now. They can stack together flush. Mm -hmm. um, you can get them in two different colors, in two different leads uh, for lights and for lasers, and, and you can get them in two lengths as well. This is the four and a half inch. We also have a seven inch option as well. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, that was really nice. This is actually one of our, our best selling products because of, of how affordable and, and how simple it is. So what kind of came next, and we sort of knew this was going to happen, was because those side rail grabbers, they come right off, and uh, th these just have uh, just basic indexing lugs, we have other companies actually making stuff to house our buttons. So even though this is our button, uh, you know, it's our lead coming out, this, this cage, this shroud, is actually made by another company called HRF Concepts. We have a couple other companies we work with as well and, and we support. But yeah, they're coming out with different options. You can have this at, a, at an angle if you want that a little bit more ergonomically. They also have ones that, uh, that house two together. So again, if you're using like a night vision setup, um, all of your switches are together and, and look at how much space they take oh, yeah. up in comparison. That's yeah, really nice. And, what, and what, what I like about this as well is um, even, even if you, you were to bump it, it's kind mm -hmm. of, uh, the button itself is kind of flush. Like on this one here, I noticed 
Um, you got to find the one that was just, yeah. Yep. So this one here is kind of recessed in there, and I like that. So, yep. so that way there's no chance of a uh, white light AD in case you're trying to sneak up the target or something like right. that. It's not going to happen. So I really like that a lot. Right, exactly. Uh, you know, as you know, if you're using night vision, you're, what, your immediate um, hands aren't really in focus. And so knowing what button you're using, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's very tactile. So we also came out with the guard clamps. And what they do is they, exactly, they add that raised surface area. Um, and, and reduce oh, kind of the pressure so, area. So, so this guard clamp here is something that you can add additionally. Yep. So if you if you wanted it flat, you could, or you could add the clamp. Yep, they Very come nice. standard li like this one nice. with, with flat. And then again, if you want HRF concepts for uh, a different angle, or if you want that, that ND guard, um, all those are on our website wow, as well. I love that. I mean, you really thought of everything on that. Um, what, what I like about this 45 degree angle uh, light switch, and, and again, this, this, this wasn't an option whenever I was uh, carrying a gun for a living, but you could actually have this on there and use it as tight, you know, kind of, kind of like a finger stop, right? Um, and still be able to activate your light or laser with your index finger versus your thumb, which is pretty cool. It's a nice option to have. Yeah, exactly. Our, our company slogan is modular is better. And what we mean by that is everyone's going to have a different need. Everybody has it. There's no yeah. one way to really do anything. It's really personal preference. Right, exactly. So I think that, I mean, again, having options out there is, is a great idea. Yeah, exactly. Good, good idea. So our, our next product that we, that we came out with was dual lead mod button light. Um, and we came out with this just to support a couple different options. There are some lasers out there that have a Viz override port. Mm -hmm. And so if you plug this into your Viz override and then this into your white light, mm -hmm. you hit it and immediately, no matter what setting your night vision laser is on, it goes to that, uh, that green or red laser and the light simultaneously. Um, that, that one's kind of a, a SWAT military application, but it can have uses uh, for a, a concerned citizen as well. So the other option is that if you've ever used civilian infrared devices for using night vision, Illuminators can be pretty anemic, and so if you're wanting to supplement that with like a, a vampire light or one of the mod light IR heads, um, you could do that as well. So this would engage your infrared laser, and then this would engage that engage that uh, IR illuminator. Yeah, great so, idea. So so and what, so just by hitting this button once, it, it engages both of them at the same time. Yep, exactly. Yeah, great idea. Man, you guys have really come with a lot of neat stuff here. Yeah. And what, what, what do we have here? This is the Unity Tactical uh, Tap Sync. So Unity Tactical manufactures uh, all, all the fresher pads for us. Um, we just had a, a few different variations of what we wanted to see done. Um, both are great. Again, they just give customers different options. This is the Tap Sync. What it does is it's similar to the, the dual lead mod button, except one button is going to activate just one of the leads and one button activates both. Oh, and you can nice. buy them in different configurations. Nice. Um, so, it, it, you know, for like, uh, again, if you were having any type of like vis override or passive aiming where you only wanted the illuminator, it's just another option. Yeah, it's great. And then this is another option from Unity Tactical. Again, just giving people different uh, different things they can do. So this is the Unity Tactical hot button. Mm -hmm. It can mount direct to M-Lock or Picatinny. Mm -hmm. And what makes it different than the uh, than the mod button switches is that it actually it's like a clicky tail cap, so you can half press for momentary and then you can full click for constant, which is something ours don't do. Um, so again, that's just a different option. Uh, some people prefer this, a lot of people prefer that. It, it, it just comes down to personal preference. Or you could actually take this off, put it on the bottom, and turn it around and yep. use your index. Again. Yep, exactly, just yeah. like that. So again, really cool, just about a lot of cool options here. I love it, I love it. You guys have really upped the, you know, really upped the game. Um, or I appreciate that, yeah. Uh, in, in, in this field of lights and switches. Um, so good on you, I love it. Love all your products. Yeah, absolutely. So Scott, is there anything we didn't uh, we didn't run over? Anything else? Uh, any kind of questions you had? Uh, no, actually, um, I mean, this today was very informative. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of stuff here I, I haven't seen in uh, ever. Mm -hmm. So it's great to get that, that that information. I hope I hope you guys got a lot out of it as well. A lot of good information here. Uh, the greatest thing is the modularity. So if you have uh, a desire to, to set up your gun a certain way, because you know, guns are getting smaller, the real estate is getting smaller, mm -hmm. and we have to come up with clever ways of being able to mount everything and right. be able to use it while still maintaining that good form in sh of shooting. Because you don't want to have to adjust the way you shoot in order to operate a light or a laser because that's defeating the purpose. Exactly. So by having all these options here, it makes that just not even an issue. I can set it up just the way I hold the weapon. Um, to, to shoot normally, mm -hmm. and I can activate any laser and light that I'd like. Right. So I love it. Great. For sure, man. If you guys have any other questions, we have a full customer service team. They love answering questions. They love helping you guys out um, with, with whatever you're getting set up. So if you have any other questions that I didn't cover, 
Uh, if you hit up support at modlight.com, we'll get you taken care of. Thanks for watching. Shop at stagarms.com. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at stagarms.